Hey folks, and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. And first off, let me say thank you because we just hit 100,000 subscribers. And to show our appreciation, I'm gonna take my truck, that's my 1985 Chevy K10, better known as Big Green, and I'm gonna push it to the limits. We're here at Minden Off-Road Park. I'm gonna take that truck out there, hit the biggest obstacles they have, and hopefully not break it. This is not what I was expecting to break today. So make sure you stay tuned. don't know let me introduce you to Big Green. This is an 85 Chevy K10. It actually began its life as a project truck over on TFL Truck and then Roman and the fellas sold it to me and I've been running it ever since. Now since I've got it I've added a new set of 35 inch Cooper STT Pros. I put a four inch suspension lift underneath this truck. Before it was a block lift now it's actual long travel suspension. That comes from Skyjacker suspensions and then the biggest modification I didn't do this it was already done when I got the truck. It has a Chevy ZZ6 or ZZ6 for my Canadians, a crate engine. This is a 350, a 5.7 liter V8 under the hood. It makes 400 horsepower at the crank. So I think the beauty of this truck and, and trucks of this era is that they're so easy to modify and make ready for off-roading. A four inch lift in 35s and I have absolutely epic clearance, no rubbing issues whatsoever. And I can't wait to see how it does on the trails. My biggest fear today is that I don't have any protection on this truck. No rock rails, no skid plates. So I gotta make sure I keep the belly out of the rocks. But as long as I do that, I think she's gonna do a good job. All right, folks, let the adventure begin. So we're gonna start with some rock crawling right here. So I'm in down in four low, and I'm gonna put it down into the creeper gear. Now this truck is a four speed manual. Technically it's three speeds and then the creeper gear, that's a super low range gear. And you're gonna see it here for stuff like this. I need to be moving as slow as possible with as much power as possible. And that's what this is gonna do for me. This is, uh, this is some of the biggest obstacles I've ever hit with Big Green, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see how it goes. And here we go, baby. Climb for me. Oh yeah. Oh, climb. Watch the belly. Nice, no belly rub. Okay, now I gotta make this turn. I turned kind of late. I was trying to get up and over the rock. But you know what? I think my front tire is gonna catch me. Dad's shaking his head no. I think so. I'm gonna flex here. <laughs> big time flex. Hello. Nice big green. Uh-oh, I got a log here now. Oh, come on log. Come on log. There we go. Don't wanna get stuck on that silly log. Man, that was awesome. The other thing with this truck is it flexes. These old trucks, the frame is actually bending, so you're getting some literal flex out of the truck, and it helps keep those wheels on the ground. So one of the things that always jumps out at me when I off-road my truck is how different it is to off-road in a manual vehicle. Now, I don't want to burn the clutch out of my truck, so I'm doing my best not to feather the clutch. At every moment, you want to be fully engaged, but then, of course, you have to be moving at a certain speed to make sure the vehicle doesn't stall. Well, that's it. With off-roading, wheel speed and RPM are really important and important to pay attention to those two. And once again, that's why I'm down here in low range because I want to take these things as slow as possible. And here we go. The old off-road adage, slow as possible, fast as necessary. And I'm going to hit this with a little bit of speed just to make sure I make it up because I don't want to feather. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, nice. I got a little rub out of the rear something, but man, the clearance here is just so good. I'm, I'm too used to stock pickup trucks. So, you know, that's what we're always testing. I'm way too used to them because this thing 
the clearance, I just can't get over the things I'm running over and then not hearing any bangs coming from under the truck. So you might be surprised to learn that they did have hill descent control in 1985. It's called gearing. Again, low range with the creeper gear. My foot is off the brake, off the gas, and the truck just creeps down the hill thanks to the low gearing and all of the engine braking that I now have. So uh, yeah, you know, all the new fancy hill descent control systems are great, but there's also something to be said about this. This is mechanical hill descent control. There's no computer brain making decisions. This is just working strictly off of the gearing. And I know exactly how that's gonna work in all situations. So once again, there's always a good argument to be made for something mechanical that isn't thinking, that isn't smart, because then I know exactly how it's gonna react. It's in those situations off-road when the truck does something that you're not expecting that it can really start to feel sketchy flies in the truck come on man get out of here you always fighting the battle with the bugs up here in southern Ontario bush <laughs> okay folks here we go twisted um, we're gonna climb that hill that we just came down and just for extra fun see how she climbs. Let's see what kind of angle I can get on here. Because why not really put Big Green to the test? Oh, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Oh, oh no! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, here is where lockers would be crucial. I've got two tires right off the ground right now, and Big Green cannot get the power to the ground because I need lockers. Now, let me try something a little old school here. Ready? Break a little bit, breaking, 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 yes! So if you have open differentials like I do, the trick is while they're spinning like that, you get off the clutch on the throttle and then just feather the brakes while you're throttling. And what that does is it ends up breaking that wheel in the air that's spinning and sending the power across. Once again, that's how modern traction control works, but I don't have that. So in this truck, I have to be the traction control. Once again, there's no computers here doing anything for me. There's no traction control thinking. There's not even lockers. This is just, you know, me and my old dumb truck versus the trail. <laughs> and, and there's just something really fun about that. Now it's time to get a little muddy, folks. A little mud pit right here. And this is where you actually want wheel speed. So I've left it in four low, but I'm gonna run it in second gear in four low. See if I can get some speeds up. And here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, there's some rocks in this pit too. <laughs> oh, nicely done, man. <laughs> of course, this is four corner leaf spring suspension, so it still throws you around quite a bit. Although I will say that the suspension I added from Skyjacker made it a little bit softer than stock, believe it or not. Still, you get bounced around in these old trucks. Another big difference from old to new is the suspension here is so rudimentary compared to what we are dealing with today in those modern trucks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for what is for sure the most extreme thing I've ever done with my truck. This is an insanely steep drop on this rock face. And then I'm gonna go down through a little mud hole, not too deep, and then back up a rock face. So we're just gonna take this as slow as possible. And for this face, I can't just engine brake with gearing. I'm gonna need the brakes. Here we go, baby. Starting to fall off the rock face now. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Oh, and there's the rear end! <laughs> My departure angle was not enough. That was all bumper or rear end of the truck. But I made it! Oh, I'm not gonna make this turn either. I'm probably gonna bump that tree, but that's what bumpers are for, right? All right, big girl, come on. Turn for me, turn for me, turn for me. Turn, 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 turn! big log there. All right, and there's 
the turn and that's down, but down's always the easier part. Oh, and there's my first stall of the day. I've been doing good too, right up until right there. It was inevitable, all right? Okay. Give me a break. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get some fuel, get some fuel, get some fuel. It's not getting fuel. When I was on that extreme angle, I could actually feel it almost dying. And uh, it's not getting fuel. I can hear the fuel pump cycling, but it doesn't sound right. Come on, get fuel, get fuel. It's not getting any fuel. It's not getting any fuel. Well, I've been going on and on why I love my old truck. Here's why I don't love my old truck, because it's dead. Uh, I mean, it does have a new engine in it, but still, you never know with an old vehicle. Uh, I honestly think it's just a fuel issue right now. We're actually gonna leave it. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit. We'll come back, we'll try it again, and we'll see what happens. If that doesn't work, then who knows? This might be the final resting place of Big Green. <laughs> no, not really. We're just gonna have to call in some heavy equipment to pull me out of there. But for now, we'll give her a few minutes and see what happens. Yeah, we're back now. We left it for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. Hopefully, uh, well, I don't know what the heck's going to happen. We're about to find out. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Kind of felt the same as before. It just is not getting gas. We're back in business. We got Big Green started. Like I mentioned, we left it alone for a bit. And then this is something my brother taught me. He's a mechanic. I don't know what's going on with that fuel canister, but I, I, the pump doesn't work properly or the pressure's not quite there. But he taught me that, you know what? If it's not quite working, just start smacking it while you're starting. So I cycled the fuel pump over and over and over, probably six, seven times to make sure I had something in there. And then dad started smacking it with an extra ratchet strap that I had here in the truck. And lo and behold, she started right back up. So we just came down that crazy steep hill. We're at the bottom of the valley right now. I'm gonna crawl back up and then we're gonna go back up a crazy steep hill and let us pray that uh, going up that hill doesn't kill my old girl here too. But we are back in motion. Big Green is running again under its own power. And I wasn't sure that was gonna happen today. We were already planning the recovery. But luckily, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna need one. <laughs> okay, cameraman's ready, dad is ready. Here we go, everybody. Of course, we're in four low in the creeper gear. And we're creeping, baby. We're creeping. Keep the revs up. Keep the revs up. Climbing. Ooh, watch the belly. Watch the belly. <laughs> and here we go. Hopefully it doesn't die again. Yes, big green. <laughs> oh boy, we did it, man. Right. 
light on. I'm so stoked. The truck started back up, got off the trail under its own power, and it's climbing like a massive mountain goat out here, man. Maybe like a massive mountain ram or something. Uh, I haven't found anything out here to slow it down just yet. There's a few rock faces I've shied away from, but for the most part, Big Green is just eating it up. Um, here's the takeaway here, folks. You go buy yourself an old truck, you sink not very much money into it, and you can get something that is so capable off-road. You might be dealing with a couple of reliability issues, but still so capable off-road for a fraction of the price of a brand new truck. And for those reasons, I would tell you, if you want an off-road toy, skip the new trucks. Just go get something old like this. It's also a heck of a lot of fun. And hey, even fixing it on the trail is all part of the adventure. Well, folks, we've come to the end of this one, and I'm not shutting my truck off until I get it home because I'm too nervous to. Now, what have we learned? Well, old trucks can be great off-road until the engine stops working, but hey, fixing your truck on the trail is just part of the experience. Now, guys, this was just a fun video to say thank you for 100,000 subscribers. And listen, if you're not subscribed, go below and do it right now. Every subscriber helps us to keep on doing what we're doing. As always, while you're down below, don't forget to hit like, Hit that subscribe button, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next because you never know what it's going to be. See ya.